go. Here we go, guys! Tuesday. And it's raining. It is raining in the DFW. You know how long it's been since we've had rain? You know how long it's been? I have, the, I have to use my own water to water my grass. You know how expensive that is? You know an irrigation system? That shit adds up. Water bill sky high. Because we ain't had no damn rain. Now it's raining. Now, see, it's raining here at my job. But watch when I go home. It ain't going to be raining a bit. Watch. I'm going to ask my wife, oh, it didn't rain at all. Matter of fact, I ain't even got to ask. I'm going to just drive up in the neighborhood and be like, it's going to be dry as hell. It never rains. Where I live. That's, that, ain't that a song? It never rains in Southern California. It never rains in Southern California. It never rains where I live. Next album, 1980. It never rains where I live. That shit don't even sound right. Anyway, guys. Two down there. Three to go. Man, it's almost Wednesday, almost hump day. We're almost halfway through the through the ride, through the dance, guys. But let me let me uh, you y'all already know that the Dallas Cowboys, the veterans, have reported to uh, training camp. Um, it, it's pretty much just a, a, a test, COVID nineteen test today. And that's what it seemed like. Um, the D Law is despite going to camp, he's still kind of concerned. Because they got to take three tests in a row before they before they can even get in the building. Three tests, man. You know, not one is enough. You know what I mean? But three? Shit, they serious. And I get it, man. I understand every bit of it, man, because it's a serious virus, man. It's a serious disease. It's wiping people out. As a matter of fact, my wife's brother, his brother, her brother, and um, the new baby... And, um, well, now she's about to be two. I'm sorry. I'm saying new baby. But she's about to be two. And his fiance, they got it. And, but they're okay. You know, they're, they're fine. They're, they're recovering from it. It didn't hit them that hard. Thank God. Uh, so that, that, that makes me kind of feel better about the situation, about, about the disease. You know, it, it affects everybody differently. But they got to take three tests before even entering the building, guys. So, uh, they are serious about it, and I, and I see why. But uh, D Law is still kind of. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's still kind of. Y'all know how he, he cried. He's still kind of iffy about it. Which I can understand because, like what I just said, it's a serious virus, man. It ain't playing with you. It ain't for the weak at heart. Not by a long shot. Um, he just might. I can see this happen. Y'all know how D-Law is. You know how he is. He just might opt out. We already had two guys, two veteran players, to opt out the whole season. They're just not taking any chances, man. Because it's impossible to not get it in a full contact sport. Somebody is going to get it. Seriously. Somebody is going to get it. They can run all the goddamn tests they want to. If, if somebody is going to get it, they're going to get it. You get what I'm saying? I understand why they're trying to prevent. Prevention is a good thing. But somebody from another team, somebody's going to get it during this. If, if we, there's that word if again. If, if guys, there's that word again. We're going to be saying if, whether you like it or not, we're going to be saying if all season long. That's if we have a season, God damn it. But it's, um, it's going to happen. It's going to happen whether they like it or not. And uh, I, I got a feeling that D-Law is going to opt out. Seriously. Because he got his money. He just had a new baby. And, and just like me, just like me, people around him are, are getting it as well. You get what I'm saying? So he probably got some people in his family that, that, that's, that has it or, or outside of his friends, homeboys, homegirls, whatever, that, that have it. And, you know, people in training camp probably got somebody in their family that got Somebody's going to get it after these tests. Like I said, you can run all the tests all day long. All it takes is one, one jabroni 
to get that virus in one of the players' families, and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You know, so uh, it, it's going to be, I think, what, what game was that? Uh, it was a baseball game the other day. They just went ahead and canceled because everybody, so many people had it. They're like, oh, shit, let's just cancel it, man. We ain't, we ain't running, you know. So I, I got to, <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it's going to be a miracle if we have a season. Like, seriously. I know football is 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 the greatest sport ever. It's the most dominant sport. It's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's the most popular sport. Uh, there's another word in there. I just, I can't think. I, don't you hate when you can't think of something? It really pisses me off. But, um, as bad as football season, as bad as people want a football season, um, don't be surprised. That's all I'm going to say. And you can put anything on in back of that that you want. Just don't be surprised. That's all I'm going to say. Just don't be surprised about this upcoming season, man, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, school, these schools are about to start. Uh, some schools start next week. Some some schools out for like at least two more weeks. And um, But some child is going to get it. it. It's like... It's kind of like, you know you can't swim. And a million people have told you that that water is deep. But you jump your ass in there anyway. You know damn well you can't swim. But you get in there anyway. That's how this feels. That's how the football season, uh, uh, school starting back up, they just forcing it. They just want to force it. And it's all about leadership, man. It's all about that leadership. It's all about, uh, we trying to tell your ass beforehand, but you just got to see anyway. It's all about the government, them wanting just, just to get, they tired of paying these teachers and them sitting at home. They, they don't like that shit. They want you out. They want you working, you know, while they sitting on their asses at home. I get, man, I'm not trying to get into that. I'm going to stick with the Cowboys, man. But that's all I got, man. Uh, D-Law kind of iffy. Cowboys iffy. We might not have a season this year, guys. I don't know. I, I hope I'm wrong. Y'all know I don't mind being wrong. But that's just the news, the heads up right now. Y'all probably already know about it, but y'all know me. I got to run my mouth about something. And yeah, I heard about the Jamal Adams thing. I really don't give a damn about it. The Dallas, I've told y'all time and time and time again, the Dallas Cowboys do not like play, uh, playing big, paying, playing, blah, 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 paying big time money to secondary players. They got burned with Carr. Uh, they did it back in the day with Dion. They rely on the front seven, regardless if it's a 3-4 or 4-3. That's what the Dallas Cowboys do. Yeah, bro, we got to get Jamal Adams. We all knew he wasn't coming here. We knew that. We knew that was another, what's, what was the other guy name uh, that, that played for the Seahawks, that safety? Uh, shit, I forgot his damn name. But y'all know who I'm talking about. Y'all remember they made such a big fuss over him coming here. He was the best safety in the league and all that stuff. He didn't come here. Oh, oh, Jason Garrett, please come get me. Yada, yada, yada. He didn't come here. That was all news. That was all talk, all speculation. It sounded good, but it never happened. Just like this shit, it sounds good, never happened. That's why I don't be on here jumping to make videos every time they're talking about uh, some player, some big time, big time player coming to the Dallas Cowboys because it never happens. But anyway, guys, make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up because you never know what the day is going to bring you. I'll look back at you, boy.